Hello movie lovers, Bob for Bob's movie review here. And today I'm bringing my new Blu-ray DVD shopping guide and reviews for Tuesday, December 3rd, 2019. Now, I hate to just be always coming up with excuses, guys, but uh, I'm finally over that push at work. It's a crazy two weeks for me. Not feeling so well again. I know you guys are thinking I was just sick. Um, I don't know. I think a lack of sleep plus my daughter's been sick. You know, with kids, it's like I'm, I'm always sick since I had a kid. Um, they just they just get sick a lot. And they kind of pass their germs on to you. But uh, pretty excited. Uh, a couple actual uh, kind of sleeper hits I think that you guys might want to check out this week. Remember, you can find affiliate links to purchase these movies down in the description below so let's get into it guys first up we have the goldfinch this one is releasing on a blu-ray and digital copy combo pack amazon best buy target and walmart all 24.99 it's also releasing on a dvd and digital copy combo pack amazon best buy target and walmart all 19.99 now warner brothers did send me over a copy of the goldfinch for review um this one has a, a few really good actors um it has ansel elgort um, Nicole Kidman, Luke Wilson, uh, this other guy, I don't, I don't know his name off the top of my head, um, just, this, there's gonna be some people in this you definitely recognize, uh, now I hadn't actually heard of this one until it was coming out, um, on Blu-ray, what do we got, just a plain black disc there, uh, it, it is a little bit of a long one, 149 minute runtime, uh, special features, Featurettes, The Goldfinch, Unbound, The Real Goldfinch, and Deleted Scenes. So this movie had these characters that were really strange, but also super interesting. And it's about this young uh, kind of teenage boy, or, or maybe he's a preteen, uh, I'm not sure. But um, it's basically Ansel Elgort's character as a child. And I don't know, they, they have him as an adult and a child. And it is not him enough as an adult, it's mostly as the child. And what happens is him and his mom are at this museum and there's like a terrorist attack or something. I don't know if they really get into exactly uh, what happened, but there's an explosion and it kills like almost everybody uh, at the museum or in that area of the museum. And his mom dies and he goes to live with Nicole Kidman's family. And it kind of just follows his life. Uh, eventually his dad comes back into the picture, but his dad's not a real good guy. And he meets this kid and uh, I think they move to like... Uh, Nevada or something and um, you know it kind of grows up and then um, they they have him as an adult and kind of what's going on with his life and it's all kind of revolving around this goldfinch painting that was at the museum and this guy there told him to take it and <laughs> a super interesting movie guys like I say it's a little long but the characters are really interesting a really interesting story um, I love the kid that they got to play Ansel Elgort um, as a child I don't know what his name was but um, uh, a really good movie, guys. I give this one a three and a half out of five. Definitely one to check out if you haven't already. Uh, next up is Savage. This one, I believe, is just getting a Blu-ray release. Amazon, Best Buy, Walmart, $17.99, Target, $19.99. Now, Welco USA did send me over a copy of Savage for review. Uh, this one had a 113-minute runtime. It is in Mandarin, so you're going to have to watch it uh, with subtitles. Now, <laughs> now the beginning of this movie really confused me and I, I was really struggling throughout the whole movie to figure it out. And then I decided to do my review without the beginning just because I, I didn't get it. I don't know what was going on. Uh, basically, there's these uh, cops following this logging truck and logging has been outlawed. But I can't figure out if they're trying to pull them over. That's what makes sense. But they try to pass them. And uh, basically the loggers like have this trap set and then just kind of jumps to this guy and this woman and um the guy and his partner are like uh, are helping these people that are stuck on this trail and they end up killing the partner and then it's like i don't know like a year later and the the cop is like up there again with a new partner and he's trying to find these poachers and there's this whole thing where these guys are like trying to smuggle this gold. And it, just, just to me, there's like a, some jumps that don't really connect to me. I don't know if I missed something. But if I just take off that first section, because I, I really didn't get what that was for. Um, 
it's basically a kind of action, almost like heist, but they don't, I mean, you don't see them steal the gold. And I wasn't sure where the gold even came from, but they have this gold like on the side of this mountain and they have to try to figure out how to get it off. And there's this cop up there and he's trying to stop them. That's an interesting movie, some good action, a couple of really good action scenes, uh, you know, like a lot of shooting and stuff like that. And there's kind of like a romance between the, the cop and this woman. And, you know, I thought it was a fun movie, guys. I definitely enjoyed this one. Uh, another one to check out if you don't mind reading it. Uh, I gave it a three and a half out of five. Next up, Killer Men will be releasing on a DVD, Amazon and Walmart, $12.96, Best Buy, $13.99, and Target, $14.99. And Paramount did send over a copy of Killer Men to review. This one has uh, Liam Hemsworth. And it's, uh, this one's a, a long one too, 112 minutes. It's not super long, but uh, for this kind of movie, a little long. Plain disc there. Uh, and this one should only be available, I believe, on DVD. Now in this movie, uh, this guy, um, Liam Hemsworth, he's like a, a money launderer or something. He, do, he does some sort of facilitating of money laundering for this criminal organization. And the FBI is kind of like onto him or something. And so they, they like cancel this uh, whole day of drops they're supposed to be doing. And then um, the, the boss's nephew is like his partner and he wants to take the money and put it into like this drug deal. He's like, oh, we'll buy these drugs and resell them. We'll have the money back before he even knows it's missing. And he doesn't want to do it. But uh, the other guy's like, I'm doing it. I don't care. You know, I, I'm controlling the money, not you. And so he can try to control the situation. He just agrees to go along with it and do it. And ends up being like this setup, and there's these dirty cops after him. And basically, um, the rest of the movie, they're trying to put right what went wrong in uh, the drug deal and get the money back for the uncle. And the cops are trying to get the stuff back because they like took the drugs out of evidence. And uh, it's a really interesting movie. I definitely liked it. I thought uh, Liam Hemsworth was really good in this one. And it's it's just kind of a, a mob action type thing you know you guys have seen a lot of movies like this i definitely enjoyed it it definitely has this crazy ending that i didn't see coming uh i give this one a three and a half out of five definitely a quality movie there to check out uh next up is low tide releasing on a dvd amazon and walmart 12.96 best buy and target 13.99 now lionsgate did send me over a copy of low tide for review i was super excited to check this one out guys the trailer looked really interesting um, it says here, treasure never stays buried for long. Um, the disc there, it's just a, a white color. Um, so it had an 86 minute run time, so a little bit shorter than um, the movies I watched this week. And this movie wasn't exactly what I was expecting from the trailer, not in a bad way, but uh, just kind of the focus of the trailer didn't come uh, until a little bit later in the movie. But basically what it is, is this movie about these kind of teenagers, uh, some younger teenagers, some later teenagers in this kind of small vacation town on the ocean. And, and what they like to do is, you know, cause trouble and drink and uh, rob the houses of uh, like people who have vacation hopes there. And like to break in and just steal some stuff to make money. And what happens is uh, the one guy and his brother, they find these gold coins and the cops come and they get kind of all separated and they hide the gold coins and they're trying to keep them for themselves. But kind of like the leader of their group, you know, he's kind of a real bad guy and uh, he kind of suspects something and they're trying to keep a secret from him and they're trying to keep away from the cops because the cops are after him. And there's just kind of all this stuff going on. He beats this girl, the fourth member of their kind of group, you know, he's like a quadruple agent turning on everybody at a whim. <laughs> that was a really fun movie, guys. I definitely, uh, I thought this was a super well-acted movie. I definitely love the performances of this one. And it was just a really interesting story about this group of teenagers. It was a little slow in parts. Um, it actually made it feel like a little longer than 89 minutes, but uh, I think it's definitely worth it. I definitely would check this one out for sure. Uh, another one I gave a three and a half out of five this week. Next up is Buttons, A Christmas Tale. This one is releasing on a DVD, Amazon and Walmart $14.96, Best Buy and Target $14.99. Now Paramount Pictures did send me over a copy of Buttons, A Christmas Tale for review. Uh, this one has Dick Van Dyke, um, Angela Lansbury, and uh, some probably some other people I've never really heard of. <laughs> Now this one has an 87 minute runtime, and it's about um, this kid who is sick or something in an orphanage and this lady shows up 
and she starts reading this story about this other girl who almost died of scarlet fever and her guardian angel saved her and it's kind of like the woman telling the story in the movie <laughs> And uh, her the little girl's guardian angel is Dick Van Dyke. And he'll just show up every once in a while to kind of help her along in her life. And there's a little bit of singing and dancing and, and whatnot. But um, I don't know. There was a little bit of like the, the, I don't know if it was the dubbing or if Dick Van Dyke would move his mouth a lot when he wasn't singing. It just seemed like he was, he was moving his mouth and nothing was coming out. But then the words lined up. And I, I couldn't figure out what was going on. It's not terribly distracting or anything, but it just, you're going to notice something seems off for sure in this one. Um, you know, the acting in this one is is okay. It's not bad. It's not great. It's okay. The story overall, you know, is cheesy, but but it's, you know, it's it's a fun movie. Um, and in the end, they make it a Christmas movie. I, like, I was like, how is this even a Christmas movie <laughs> through most of it? But at the end, it ends up being Christmas. Now, I don't know. I think my biggest issue with this movie was, though, is that they were, like, trying to get across this story of, like, oh, you know, everybody has a guardian angel out there to look after them and help them. And it's like, okay, but then her her dad dies, her mom dies. She's got, like, an evil woman taking after her. She has to go work at this mill. And it's like, okay, what? Like, how come... Sometimes there's a guardian angel to protect you and sometimes there isn't. Uh, to me, it just seemed like they were going back and forth and they, they were, they weren't really proving the point there to me. Um, I mean, like in some ways, yes, the guardian angel would come save her. Uh, but I mean, just like a lot of really bad stuff happened too. So I don't know. I thought this movie was all right. You know, I gave it a three out of five. Uh, it definitely had its moments, but uh, in the end, I felt like the story just really wasn't doing what it was intending to do. Next up, we have The Simpsons, the complete 19th season, releasing on DVD, Amazon, Best Buy, and Walmart at $34.99 and Target $39.99. Now, I didn't pre-order this one because I was like, oh my gosh, $35? How old is it? Like, it just seems to me to be way overpriced. I can't remember what the last season released at, but I mean, $20, $25 for these things, right? $35? <laughs> That's just me. I'll definitely pick this up at some point, but uh, I'm not going to pay $35. Next up is the Spider-Man Far From Home, Spider-Man Homecoming, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, and Venom Steelbook, uh, which will be a wide release and include Blu-ray and digital. Target $37.49, Amazon and Walmart $49.96, and Best Buy $49.99. Next up, Big Trouble in Little China is releasing on a Blu-ray. Amazon and Walmart, $24.88, Best Buy and Target, no listing. And it's also getting a Steelbook release, which will include uh, Blu-ray, Amazon and Walmart, $26.17, Best Buy and Target, no listing. Now, I did pre-order this one, but I won't have it uh, probably till Tuesday. I haven't looked. Um, so if I get a chance, I'll bring you guys an unboxing of that one. Uh, next up is Santa Fake. This one is releasing on a Blu-ray, Amazon, Best Buy and Walmart, $14.99, Target, $16.59, it's also releasing on a DVD, Amazon and Walmart, $11.99, Target, $13.29, and Best Buy, $17.99. Last up this week is Automation, and this one is going to release on a Blu-ray and will be available on the Epic Pictures website. If you pre-order it, $14.99, after pre-order, $26.99. I did pre-order this one, but usually their movies come kind of late, so... Um, I don't know if I'll do any videos on that one. But that's it for this week, guys. Love to hear if you guys saw any of these movies, what you thought of them. If you're going to pick any of them up, love to know which ones. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you haven't already, subscribe for our videos. Check out the suggested videos. For more movie news, check out my website, bossmoviereview.com. And I'll see you guys next time.